This is not going to work. Hold on, please. Okay. All right, we're live. And Hello. yes, I uh, for, forgive me for the uh poor condition of this recording, but it's necessary to get all this on the fly. What we have here is Osrith Clay's latest greatest innovation in farming Oscorp technology. This is a repeatable design that is really awesome that works in 11.2. We are in Minecraft 1.11.2 and these are single cell uh, farming plots where we have a farmer and right behind this block right here we also have a, uh, a villager right here. Now the villager is actually caught or pushed up against this block here the one that I pointed at earlier by these bars and that keeps him able to be seen by these guys so that they will chuck their items over here into the water stream which is necessary in order to uh, he, he must be pushed up against this block uh, show show the viewers how um, how kind you of, did that yeah there. that's that's rather okay. important because it's a it's a big part of how this design actually works okay so. well what you would want to do is you would want to get him in there with bars on the sides and then if you just left him there, if he moved away from that, the guy down there will never push anything to him. So we're going to, let's see here, you just basically place those two bars like that. I need to get me some stuff set up here. I'm so not used to creative mode. But anyway, you basically, you just, two pistons, button, boom. Yep, and, and there he is, trapped between the bars and the wall here. Now, there's also some interior features to this that are kind of innovative. You, you might have noticed this daylight sensor out here. Why don't you explain what that okay. does for the farm and how that's an innovation? Well, while I was trying to create this farm off of other people's designs I noticed that if you just left this over here with a string and it kept breaking all the time this villager would never leave this this half of the farm that half over there would never get farmed in other words what happened just there would happen every single time the farmer moved away and he would only get one potato back correct yeah well, no, he would come over here and he'd break one or two and then run back over. But he would never get, this whole half of the farm was just worthless. He would never get here. Uh -huh. So the design is very simple. During the daytime, this light will come on and that plot of land will stay planted and he'll work this farm. And then at night, it'll break randomly and he'll just keep running back. So in other words, during the day, he farms and fills his inventory and during the night he's he more likely it. to dump it because he's yep. he's over there by the the empty potato <laughs> plot now and he sees that villager and tries to trade with him so excuse me while I turn something off here but yeah that's pretty much it okay so um I really like the way you've actually laid this out too. Uh, tell us a little bit about the spacing between these and why this is kind of uh, a... Yes, you can't just place uh, one farm next to the next to another because the farmers 
will get close enough where they will talk to each other and even throw their inventory out randomly against the walls. So, uh, yeah, you hear that thumping there. That is an indicator that this half is getting items picked up. And then this one over here is going now. Aha. Uh -huh. And that means that he's dumping his inventory trying to trade with these guys. And yep. so is this guy. Uh, it seems to get about one stack of items per Minecraft day per cell. So this setup right here is doing four stacks a night. Woo! Yeah, I haven't seen this thing work overnight. And now that I see it, this thing is just incredible. Yeah, and um, it's... And it's a very simple design farm as well. The main farm is based on what I call the micro farm, which is just a survival thing that I do, where you place one block of water and, and then do four blocks on each side. So it's just a nine by nine square with a water block in the middle. Well, have you come up with a name for this design? Mine. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Mine farming, Oscorp <laughs> trademark. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And also the other thing I like about this is this goes into water streams, which lets me put it into my patented item elevator that still works in 111. <laughs> yeah. If people if people beg us enough, we might show them how that works. Yeah, that's kind of something we want to <laughs> keep a secret because we don't want Mojang to break it. Yeah, we're tired uh. of them. We're tired of them, hang on, fixing things. We're yes, <laughs> fixing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the fix is breaking what we've come yeah. to know as a, yeah. <laughs> it's like, can you fix that problem with trees? <laughs> peonies, man, peonies. Peonies, <laughs> yeah. How many peonies glitches do we need? Um, but yeah, I, I am very impressed by how this farm works and there's, there's been a couple of things to thwart farms like this and several of them, um, you've, you've addressed about four issues at once. One is the repeatability of this and while this is actually taking up a very, very large footprint, in terms uh, of acreage, this is not so bad. Well, the thing um, is, this was just this was just copied and pasted off of one of these blocks. Uh, in a game, you could easily chop this whole section off over here by just putting the farmer or the the catch on this side, so all four come together into one. So that would save you a bit of footprint space right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I love this little feature that you've got. It actually ties in the thing to a note block that's i i did that just so i can afk i know that i know that's optional <laughs> whoops oh, yeah but it's yeah it's also kind of comforting to walk by this farm and and it's hear that <laughs> yeah so yeah there you go and so, the more of them you've got uh the better it's gonna sound <laughs> That would be, oh yeah, each one a different instrument, different note. That would be really... <laughs> yeah, so oh, that's, that's kind that, of cool. Man. Yeah, we're going, <laughs> we're definitely going to do that. Uh, let me get a sword so I don't hit nothing. Yes, please, let's not be breaking my stuff. So, yeah, um, let's recap. You got to get the guy right there trapped by the bars. You got to have the daylight sensor to increase the productivity from that light turning off at night um is there any issue uh, uh, there is one last issue and that has to do with if you look down here and you see this villager he's standing on a lily pad and he's he's standing basically let's see if i can get that oh uh, yes there's a lily pad below his feet above yeah, the water now, he's standing at about this height now if you were to have this as the height inside because I did this he's on a lily pad and you have this exposed space right there uh, that farmer inside can actually chuck items up high enough for him to catch so you have to make sure that his feet 
are on the lily pad and concealed from the farmer. Uh-huh. So I see. Because his yeah, feet you, actually will catch something. Yeah, so his if you hit get box. here and look up, you'll actually see I've got three blocks covered on that height. Yeah, those inside, three right there. One right across there. Yeah, and it's important to have full blocks there, not just a half slab high. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that covers it up. Yep, and the lights all just Ooh. came on. Almost got a half a stack so far from each. Uh, well, they st actually, both of these started at 64 and 3 potatoes, so not quite a stack each tonight. But in the time we've been talking, that's that's pretty good. Now, um, this we, we started with this, the little history to tell you about we we started some of these ideas and concepts with a breeder that you made because your breeder actually uh, does act as a halfway decent uh, potato carrot farm in and of itself yeah but my breeder also works as a half decent iron farm so there's that <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, cre it creates a village and <laughs> As far as well, the updates are concerned, every time they breed, it seems like a golem falls out of the thing. <laughs> celebrate golem! Woo <laughs> <laughs> Drop them in the lava, everybody! <laughs> well, all right. Well, this is the Oscorp uh, Garden Center. <laughs> yeah, the Oscorp Garden Center. Yeah, that's right. I plan on running Home Depot out of business. Yeah, pretty soon. <laughs> I already got. I already got so there's that uh oh <laughs> all right <laughs> well we'll see you guys later bye